okay so write down the question here a solution of i'll write down the question wait solve this question all of you a solution of non volatile solute non volatile solute in water freezes at freezes at minus 0.80 degree celsius the vapor pressure of pure water so i'll write down in short p not of h2o the vapor pressure of pure water it is given 23 Point five one. Just a second. Twenty three point five one mm hg. Kf of water is given, which is one point eight six. calculate the vapor pressure the p not of the solution vapor pressure of solution tell me you need to find out the vapor pressure of solution tell me fast anyone Okay try this Anyone got the answer tell me 23.41 23.41 is right it's very close to the right answer 23.41 is correct Is it what we have to do here first of all first of all solution of non volatile solute is given and it is not mentioned that so that the solute is electrolyte or non electrolyte okay so if it is not mentioned then we have to assume that the solute is non electrolyte okay we have to assume that non electrolyte solute if it is not given non electrolyte solute we have to assume first of all this okay now freezing point is given so we'll use this formula of delta tf is equals to i into kf into m now when the solute is non electrolyte so i is equals to what 1 right but we need to find out the solution pressure solution pressure is what p not a minus p a divided by p not a is equals to i x b also we can write where i is equals to 1 again right so this p we need to find out solution pressure this p we need to find out p not a is given right p not a is given what we need we need this xb mole fraction of b because that is not given in the question mole fraction of b how do we find out delta tf is equals to kf into m delta tf is this so molality first of all we'll find out from here molality is delta tf 0.80 divided by kf is 1.86 this molality is around 0.43 molal solution it is okay this formula you see if i write this as p not a another way if i write p not a minus p a divided by p not a 
is equals to n b divided by n a plus n b. Mole fraction of b. Okay. Since the solution is dilute, all these solutions are very dilute. So n a, n b, n a is very high in comparison to n b. Like this also we can solve, or you can solve in other way also that you must have done already. So p not a is what p not a is twenty three point five one. So you have to do twenty three point five one minus p a, which you need to find out, divided by twenty three point five one. And this is nothing but since n b is very small, so we can neglect n b in terms of n, with respect to n a, and the ratio is this, right? So n b is what? N b is this k f unit is what? It is Kelvin per molar, right? Per one mole, this is the unit of this. So if N B, N A is the moles of water, that will be thousand gram of water we are assuming divided by eighteen, and N B will be what? N B will be zero point four three because you see molality is given. You can also find out this in this way. Molality is what? Number of moles of solute which is B divided by Mass of solvent, right? Mass of solvent, which is water. Mass of water into thousand, right? So mass of water, if you are assuming thousand gram, right? This is equals to zero point four three, the molality of the solution. Mass of water, suppose it is thousand gram that we are assuming here, because it is not given, or one kg. So number of moles. Of B, which is the solute, is nothing but 0.43. That is what I have written here. Okay, this when you solve N B by N A, we are getting as 0.0.43 into 18 divided by 1000. So when you solve this, you'll get P A, which is around. Twenty-three point three two mmHg. This is what you need to get. Approximation I have taken with N A plus N B. I am writing it as N B. I am neglecting with respect to N A. All of you understood this. Understood. Let me know if you have any doubt. Okay, this question you see. Zero point one molar. Aqua solution of MgCl two. Of MgCl2 at 300 Kelvin is 4.92 atmospheric. What will be will be the percentage ionization of The salt. What will be the percentage ionization of the salt? Anyone got the answer? The first part of the question is: Point one molar aqueous solution of MgCl two at three hundred Kelvin is four point nine two atmospheric. Just a second. Point one molar aqueous solution of MgCl two. Uh, one thing is missing here. The osmotic pressure. This is not given here. Some mistake here. 
द ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर ऑफ पॉइंट वन मोल एक्वा सोल्यूशन ऑफ एम जी सी एल टू एट थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन इज फॉर फोर पॉइंट नाइन टू एटमोस्फेरिक द प्रेशर इज गिवेन सी ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर इज गिवेन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज गिवेन ओके अल्फा यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट परसेंटेज आयनाइजेशन मीन्स अल्फा यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट and to find out alpha we need i so write down the formula for osmotic pressure calculate i from there and then use the formula of i to get alpha point 5 shriram is getting point 5 close it's right yeah approximately 50% is right Preeti, you got that? What about Sahana, Lakshya? Anyone? See what we have to do. The osmotic pressure pi is equals to. we need to write i c r and t i we do not know pi is given in the question which is 4.92 divided by concentration is 0.1 r value is what 0.082 and t is what the temperature is given 300 kelvin when you solve this i you'll get around 1.99 okay or if you take it as 2 then since it is the dissociation case so i is equals to 1 plus n minus 1 into alpha n value is what mg cl2 we have so n value will be mg2 plus Plus two Cl minus, so n value is three here. So this will be equals to one plus two alpha, and I is nothing but two. So when you calculate alpha here, you'll get zero point five or fifty percent. This is the answer. what equipment you want lakshya all of you understood this next question you see a certain substance a certain substance that is a certain substance a tetramerizes tetramerizes in water in water to the extent of extent of 80% a solution of of 2.5 g of a a in 100 g of water
in 100 gram of water lowers the freezing point lowers the freezing point by 0 0.3 degree celsius find the molar mass of a do this question anyone got the answer graph of delta tb elevation in boiling point graph that's what you're asking Preeti okay so we'll do that Preeti we'll discuss that but in the last okay not now if not possible then we'll discuss that in the class anyone got the answer okay I'll do this you see the certain substance a tetramerizes in H2O to the extent of 80 percent means the alpha value is 0 0.80 solution of 2.5 gram of A so mass of solute is given that is so I'll write down MB not MA here mass of solute we have so M of B B is solute so mass of MB is 2.5 gram the mass of solvent which is water A is 100 gram and delta TF is given which is 0. 3 degrees Celsius okay so what we'll do here first of all we know the formula of Delta TF is equals to is equals to I KF into M so first of all we need to find out this I so I is equals to it is a case of association tetramerizes we have so I is equals to 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 by n into alpha n value is given in the question which is 4 so 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.25 and alpha is 0 0.80 so 1 minus 0 0.75 into 0 0.80 and this is nothing but 0 0.40 the value you will get okay i is 0 0.40 so I'll just substitute here uh, delta tf is uh, 0 0.3 i is 0 0.4 kf for water is 1.86 we know that molality is number of moles divided by the mass of water is 100 into 1000 so the number of moles will be equals to mass by molar mass mass is 2.5 molar mass of B we need to find out is equals to this 100 and this will get cancelled and number of moles will be equals to point 3 divided by 10 into 0 0.4 into 1.86 and then when you calculate MB here the mass or the molecular mass MB is equals to approximately you will get 62 gram that is the answer so Sahana is getting the right answer Understood this? Hundred plus two point five. How can you assume that, Preeti? 
60 gram is approximate is it clear all of you